Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back. For those of you who are finding my channel for the first time, I hope you will stick around, subscribe. Um, I upload videos every Wednesday and Friday morning. So what I wanna talk to you guys about today is snow boots. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Erin, um, you live in Texas. Why are you talking about snow boots? So a quick note about my background. I actually grew up in the Northeast. I grew up in Watertown, New York, which for those of you who don't know is actually north of Syracuse. Um, it's 30 minutes from the Canadian border and it is very snowy because you were right on Lake Ontario. So you had all that lake effect snow. So I grew up in a frozen tundra where there was a lot of snow and winter lasted basically six to kind of six to eight months of the year. <laughs> And then I went to college in Syracuse, New York. Um, so then it got even snowier. So basically for the first 25 years of my life, um, I was in intense snow. And then I went and moved to New York City. So I was still in the snow, but not quite as intensive as upstate New York. Anyway, so I have a lot of experience with snow. I have a lot of experience with bundling up with snow boots. And I was a reporter way back when, and I used to cover all the snowstorms and I was always outside reporting. And so um, I learned a lot about bundling up again and about snow boots and what, what you needed to do to stay warm. So that is my background and that is why um, I always feel very confident talking about snowy gear. But what I want to do today are kind of go through some categories for boots because I think different, just like a lot of different things, um, I think different boots are better for different reasons and some are better in one area than others. So um, I kind of divided this up into categories. I've got 10 categories and um, yeah, let's get started. So the first category is sort of best overall, best snow boot, keeps your feet the warmest, the driest, the most protected, um, the no fooling arounder still looks decent. I'm always trying to think about fashion and function. Granted, snow boots are not, you know, the greatest. But the best overall is the Sorel Joan of Arctics. And those come in a variety of colors. They come with a fur top. They come with shearling. Um, there are varieties of the Joan of Arctics, but that is definitely the best overall. I know the Tivoli 2 is also highly rated. But Sorel's in general, it's a Canadian company. They know snow boots okay so if you really need like negative 20 degree negative 30 degree snow boots then you need a pair of sorrels they're the best so anyway that would be the best overall snow boot would be the joan of arctics the next category is the best lightweight boots so one of the drawbacks of the joan of arctic are they are very heavy if you've put them on your foot it's like you've got a couple of bricks on your feet um, so you don't exactly feel like light on your feet when you're wearing them so a lightweight boot I discovered recently, actually when I was in New York, I popped into Intermix for like two seconds and I discovered this line called Cougar. And um, that conjures up like different things, but uh, you, know what I'm <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's a line of snow boots and they are incredibly lightweight and I think they're good looking. They come in white and black and I, I really like the white ones. So I would say that is the best lightweight snow boot. The viewer's choice. Now, I went back, I've done this video. This is my third year in a row doing the video. By the way, if you have any interest in watching the last two years, I'll put a link to those below. I will put links to all the boots below and also over on the blog, BusbyStyle.com, so don't worry about that. But the best viewer choice is the Columbia Minx Mid-2 Omni Heat. And a bunch of you have recommended those, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Marla who's recommended them not once, but two years in a row. So she watched the first year video and recommended these. And then I went back and looked at the comments from the next year, the following year, 2015, she recommended them again. So shout out to Marla. Those are the viewer, those get the viewer's choice award <laughs> um, for snow boots. Next is best on a budget because many of us are on budgets and snow boots can be very pricey. The best on a budget is the Comba Nordic boot. They look very similar to the Sorel Joan of Arctics. It's a really good dupe. Um, they get high reviews on Amazon. So I would check those out if you're on a strict budget. 
the easiest to get on and off, and here's another drawback of those best overall Joan of Arctic boots, um, you have to lace them up. So you pull them on and then you have to lace them and sometimes you just wanna pop a boot on and run out the door. You don't wanna have to monkey around with laces. I know that is the case for me, especially like when we're in Colorado and I just wanna take the dog out for a quick pee and then come back in and I don't wanna have to like bundle all up, you know? So the um, easiest to get on is the Blondo Sasha Snow Waterproof Boot because it looks like a lace-up, but it really has the side zip. So you can pull it on, zip it up, and go out the door very simply. Next category is best traction, and this one I'm basing solely on reviews um, online. It got a high rating across the board, but one of the notable features was the traction. I'm guessing they're also good for like snow hikes and stuff, and that's because Merrill is a company that's known for their hiking shoes. The Merrill Decora Chant boot. Um, so they have, I would say, the best traction and they have the added bonus of having an odor protection technology, which means if you're prone to stinky feet, some of us are, uh, this, is gonna, this is going to keep your feet smelling fresh. The next category is best concept. And I just love when there's creativity involved, you know, the merging of functionalities. So this concept is really cool. Stella McCartney for Adidas designed a pair of sneaker boots. So it fits and feels like a sneaker, kind of looks like a sneaker, but it's really a boot, a winter boot. So I thought that was a really cool concept. Um, they look a little futuristic and they kind of are a cool girl boot, you know, feel like you have to have a little, a little attitude to wear them, but they're, I, I think they're good looking, they're edgy. And again, if it feels like a sneaker and looks like a boot, functions like a boot, how awesome. Next up is most chic. When I'm thinking about a chic boot, I'm thinking about you know what would I want to wear walking around the streets of Manhattan um, in the winter. You know when the streets are slushy, there's snow on the sidewalks, it's wet, it's cold, but you still want to look city chic. Um, so my go-to for that scenario is always Aquat Aquatalia or La Canadienne. There are two lines of boots. Aquatalia is a little more expensive than La Canadian, but um, both of those lines are excellent when it comes to street chic, super chic boots. Now I will note that none of these boots say snow, so they're very waterproof or they quote unquote weatherproof, but they don't specifically say snow boots. But two of my favorites from Aquatalia are the Viola Booty, I love the high wedge. I think that's great. It's the rubber sole, so you can really walk in it. It'll still give you traction. And then the Viviana, which is a really tall wedge boot. And then by La Canadienne, I thought the Berkeley looked really chic and sophisticated. So if you're needing like a really chic, street smart, street chic um, boot that's also weatherproof, I think you need to look at those two lines, specifically these boots. I'll link them below, don't forget. Uh, next, we have best apre ski boot. Apre means after, for those who don't know French. I would say the Technica moon boots. Technica, is that how you say it? It's these moon boots and they are, I think they're really cool looking and they're chic and they're interesting. Um, I love the like super dramatic furry top. I think that makes them really cool for apre ski and they're a standout. So I can see that with like your fitted ski pants or your leggings, you know, your long underwear um, and these boots looking really chic. Last but certainly not least, the best designer boots. And I, I really had a hard time finding a lot of designer boots. I was surprised, but then again, I guess it's not too surprising because this is such a specialty category. And I would imagine if you're a mainstream designer, it may not be worth your while to start diving into this category when so many other specialty companies like Sorel or Aquatalia are doing it so well. Um, but what I did find are these Montclair booties and Montclair is um, a line that specializes in outdoor um, sportswear that is also very, very chic and fashionable. So um, all of their pieces are just beautiful. And you know, if you're looking at, oh, I wanna buy something really high-end and luxurious and you're kind of looking at a Prada snow boot or a Montclair snow boot, 
there should be no contest in your mind because again, Prada doesn't specialize in this, Montclair does. So I would always go to the brand that specializes in the outdoor wear, the snow, the snowy gear, because um, again, you want the functionality. Like cold weather, you don't want to monkey around with it. It's no joke. The Montclair OSGA shearling wedge booties, and I love the color, the stone color too. Those won best designer boots. Um, I thought they were the best looking and they, I think they're cute and I think they would be easy to wear. And I love the wedge. The wedge, by the way, is 4.7 inches. That is not an easy thing to find. So if you are a heel lover like I am and you can walk around in a wedge, no problem. These could be a really awesome option. Obviously they're Montclair, so they're expensive. That's why I put them in the best designer boot category. I hope that helps you guys. I know a lot of you, you know, I live in Texas, so I don't really have a huge need for a lot of snow boots, but I know a lot of you do. You live in the Midwest or you live out in the Pacific Northwest or you live in the, North the Northeast. So you do need serious snow boots. And I would take a good look at all 10 of these recommendations. Think about, you know, what your budget is. Think about what your needs are. Think about, um, you know, how you want to also look, how you want them to look, even though a lot of them are quite similar, they, they have differences for sure. So, oh, one more really quick thing. Um, remember the jewelry company I talked to you guys about that was offering the 20% off code. The owner just wanted me to let you know that they are going to, they're going to extend the 20% off code. So if you didn't get a chance to order a piece already, you could still order. It's, um, Busby, November 16. B-U-S-B-E-E-N-O-V-16. And just to remind you, it's the really dainty silver pieces that are plated um, that look really luxe, but they're very um, affordable. So, they're, well, they're very affordable for the quality. So anyway, if you wanna check them out, I'll put the website right below. And of course, I'll remind you of the code also. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. Next week, just wanted to let you know also that I'm gonna be doing a huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul. So you'll definitely wanna tune in for that. Subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And, um, and yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.